rainy day. I'm out um, playing with some pallets, scavenging some pallets, taking them apart for different projects around the house. And I did the shed video where I did the, the entire shed out of free materials, out of pallets. And I got asked a lot of questions how I disassembled so many pallets and how long it took to do each one and everything. Um, there's one method. I tried pretty much every method there is to dismantle pallets. And the easiest and that gives you the, the most amount of usable material is with a Sawzall. Um, you can use what's called like a pallet pal and that that doesn't work. It just doesn't work. You can, you know, I saw a video where a guy put a brick under it and propped it up. It doesn't work. And one of the reasons why is they sink the nails so deep. I don't know if you can see how deep those nails are sunk, but they're sunk so deep with the nail guns always. And then the nail head's always glued in that you're going to break. You're going to force, the only way to get that snail head out is it's going to pull the west of the way through this thin wood. It's going to ruin the entire end of every single one of your boards and probably closer to about four or five inches of every end. But the only method you can do is with the sawzall and doing the sawzall what you do is you actually cut off the head of the nail um, right there and if you don't want to leave the nail in, I like leaving the nails in for projects. I just, I think it looks better, it looks more finished, it looks more rustic is from the other side you can just take a nail set you can just set this down real fast and nail set it bam 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 comes right out if you don't want to use a sawzall the next best thing you could use is one of these one of these the pallet pal won't work it just doesn't work it's it's a great gimmick um, the uh, the pallet they show it on is a very odd pallet that has boards sticking up both sides you can pry from both sides so the nail's not right in the end. That is an extremely uncommon pallet. Most pallets you're going to run into, the pallet's going to be the the, uh, the slat is going to be flush on the rail, right at the very end, with a nail just right in the tip. And if you try to pry that off, you're going to split it. This method is going to split it as well. Um, but the sawzall, let me show you. What we're going to do is we're going to use actually a long sawzall blade. They have long one. This one's probably about 10 inches, and they have little short ones. You want longer, the better. And you want, this is an all-purpose, cuts through nails, cuts through wood, and everything in between. I'm just going to get it right up in between. Done. There we go, boards out. Now we take it, and you can actually you can cut out the middle one right now, or you can cut out the top. Yeah, we'll cut out the middle one. And the reason you want the long blade is because you actually bend it in there. You want it to bend in there. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna bend it in there. And you can do the other, so I just did a couple. Now I'll show you what to do. You know, I didn't do them all just to show you that you can also flip it. And you can do the middle at the very end if you if you would prefer. And sometimes that's easier. But we'll come up here. And we got our other, other rail. And you can see the ones I did the other side flopped off. But now these ones in the middle, sometimes it's easier to give yourself a little more gap. Well, I just pulled right off. Just by bending them a little bit and it gives you a little bit more gap. I mean, this one was a little bit shorter than a standard pallet, but has the exact same amount of nails that a standard pallet would have. And I did this one in about four minutes. So did an entire pallet in four minutes. All my material is usable. I can remove the nail heads in a matter of probably another three minutes if I really wanted to. I got usable rails if I want to use those. Generally these are junk though and generally I don't do much with these because they're crap. A couple sawzall tips for you. First of all, this is actually pretty um, 
This actually gives the Sawzall a pretty good workout. So if you're going to do this, I would recommend a name brand. This one's a Makita. This is a really old Makita. But a Makita, DeWalt, um, maybe even just a Home Depot Rigid one would be okay. But I think a Harbor Freight one you'd probably burn up. Um, as far as the, uh, the blades, they will wear out um, fairly quickly. This one wasn't too bad, but I'm already missing a couple teeth here. Um, this one's been used a fair amount. But th those nails do chew them off. You can sharpen them. And you can see this one right here that I have sharpened. This was the exact same blade. I've sharpened it so many times that it's almost a quarter inch thinner in the middle. You can see how bent it got and I straightened it out. And I keep using them until the, uh, the little holder head tip falls off. And knowing me, I could probably just uh, re-weld that back on and go right back at it. But to sharpen them is pretty quick and simple. But you could use a you could use a four and a half inch grinder. You could use a four inch angle grinder. You could use a Dremel. But all I do is I come in and I just touch the tooth and I just give it give it back a hook. That's all. I give it back a hook where I broke off a tooth. Um, generally, this blade will go through probably about three pallets or so before you need to actually sharpen it or do something with it. I just try to, sometimes more, um, but generally I try to uh, keep moving the blade and using different parts of the blades at all times. This blade right here probably, this did my entire shed, so this probably did, um, all together this blade's done 40 pallets or so, and it just barely broke actually today doing a pallet. Well, there you go. A power tool always beats uh, the, old, the old manual way. Um, I think the first pallet I did took me about an hour to do it with this, and I ended up with breaking at least half the slats I broke a good five, six inches in, you know, and you have to cut those off, making them unusable. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to share this because everybody who does those pinches projects or those yard projects now with pallets wants to know the easiest and quickest way to dismantle a pallet. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment below. I'll put a link to the shed video if you haven't watched this right after here, and I'll put the link to this video in the shed video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.